I was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. I was born right here at Cross Hospital. I was born and raised in Holland, Michigan. And uh, in 1978, I felt like I needed a change, so I moved to Cincinnati. Lynn and I met uh, at church, and we were married about eight months later. Eight months? Would you say it was love at first sight then? No. <laughs> no, we sort of. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> You're all right, dear. Yeah. Just strike that. I won't hold that against you. <laughs> this is when we were in Alaska. This is a family Christmas picture. Probably That's our son and our daughter and our son-in-law and our grandson. Yeah. And our daughter's dog and our dog. <laughs> it's all part of the family. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy was uh, four and a half months when we got him, and our daughter, Carissa, was four months old when she came. You know, most people go to the delivery room, and we drove to the Detroit airport to pick up our kids. And they're now in their 30s. I think April of 2016, I want to say, I decided to put in pavers in the patio using the large patio stones that were 30, 35 pounds, and my son helped me and realized that uh, I was really having some issues. So those things led to identifying that I had a leaky mitral valve, which I had no idea that I had. Meeting with him, he made some comment about, I probably get winded going up and down the steps. And I, I said, no, I don't, but Lynn's and my gaze met each other and, and they picked up on it and they said, what's going on here? And um, I said, well, I don't have a problem with getting out of breath, but my wife does. I noticed that my energy was um, going downhill. He said that all four valves were leaking. So at that point, um, we moved on to an appointment with Dr. Castillo Sang. He really put us both quite at ease and gave us quite a bit of time and attention and walked through the entire process of what the heart looked like, what the colors meant, and I knew right instantly that this was my doctor, and I canceled the other second opinion appointment because I just felt so good about Dr. Castillo saying. I was sitting in the waiting room just before surgery and I think I was very frightened. I felt so helpless and yet I had so much great care. I remember a few weeks ago um, when it was just starting to get warm and I decided I was going to plant some flowers and I achieved uh, five flowers into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was so disappointed. <laughs> the next day I got eight flowers in. <laughs> and, uh, and now our flower gardens and, and our pots look great. But it is a process and you get stronger each day and that's what's happening. I'm lifting and doing things, gardening. I can lift 40, 50 pounds and it's, it's not a problem. Do I get out of breath once in a while? Yes, I do. But. I had said that this was kind of like the elephant in the room when, when you are dealing with an issue. And when things aren't right, don't sit around and not do anything. You need to go to your doctor and just keep going until you get answers. Mm -hmm. I just think it was a real gift mm -hmm. to be able to be here. They were both very thorough, very caring, and got to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. They did not give up. We have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, we do. For. We really do.